Hello, my name is Voya and welcome to my deep guide. Well, the Supernote A5X and the A6X, basically the same platform, just different sizes. You guys know that I have been a fan of this one when it came out and that I have grown to be an even bigger fan of this one as the updates came along, especially towards the beginning of this year when it was transformed into something truly, truly awesome. So lots of good things associated with the Supernote A5X, but where are the areas where it could actually improve upon. So let's explore a couple of those in this video. All right, so one of the things that I think is, would be a really cool thing to have, which is, I think, cons I consider it very basic and rudimentary, but fundamental uh, functionality is the ability to rename PDF files, because currently you can't really easily do it from here. Um, and But more importantly, it's about how the keyboard system-wide is working. And right now, you can't really do a long press and select everything and then just kind of type it in. So that's point number one. You actually just have to kind of delete. And once it's deleted, then you can type in on or write in your new name document name. So let's say if this is my new note, right? And that's okay. But for example, maybe I want to send an email. Maybe I want to do something where I just am able to long press, select the whole name of the document or the note and copy it into the doc or into the system clipboard. In this case, something that the keyboard would normally have so that and then I can have a paste function like we have icons here that I can use copy paste function normally like you would on any other Android or other device. Similarly, um, if you go into a document, for example, and you tap here, you have the name, but you don't have the edit name option, right? So that's a bit of an inconsistency in system-wide operations. And you can rename a document, but you have to go into here, and then you can actually do this. But the same problem is present here. So it's like two things kind of combined. Um, the renaming functionality between the documents and the notes, it should have the same functionality and it should work the same um, regardless of if it's a notebook or a document. And the second thing for me far more important regarding all of this is long press to select the whole thing or a word or whatever. And uh, most important of all, copy paste functionality of the text itself. Another thing that's quite important as well is the ability to uh, have a shared clipboard between documents and notebooks and vice versa, because currently you can't do that. So I don't know, maybe in my daily organizer, I had a full page of text or maybe just this thing here. And within the document, I can do a copy, right? And then maybe I can choose to go here and then I can paste it into here and that's all good right so by the way the responsiveness of this is also something that has been dramatically improved recently so it's a very nice thing to see however now if i actually go into a notebook and i go into the same seemingly same selection tool the clipboard memory clipboard is not shared and that's kind of strange because that's something that's rather needed because very very often you will find or at least i find myself that i am in a situation where i want to copy my scribbles from a document into a notebook and currently we don't have that functionality so another thing that i would like to kind of see improved is shared clipboard memory between the selection tools of the documents and notebooks i think that would be a very useful thing to have. Another thing that I think uh, the, the platform system-wide kind of misses is the, yeah, we have sleep, which is great, but we don't have the auto shutdown. And while the uh, energy conservation is really, really good, and it is trying to use that no load shutdown thing, um, that no load shutdown state, um, it is a super low power consumption state, but it still does uh, spend some 
uh, battery life when the device is idling, which is something that won't be necessarily true if the device had the ability to go auto off. I think that it would be a nice thing to have the ability to have auto shutdown and to choose, I don't know, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 hours, and then you can choose whatever kind of activity you want. Because with that type of setup, you can set it maybe like for four hours or something like that, that it shuts down uh, after four hours. And that is more than enough because if you're not using it for four hours, then it's likely that you want it to be turned off and it's going to conserve the battery. But more importantly, if you uh, leave the device and you don't use it maybe for two weeks or something like that, maybe you've went on a vacation, you didn't need it or something like that, it would be nice that you don't come back to a device that's spent uh, a lot of energy or has drained it to zero, which is something that still does happen. And it's mainly because we still don't have that auto off, uh, auto shutdown uh, timer. So that's something that I think would be a useful thing to have as well. All right, this one I've talked at uh, length, so I'm not gonna talk too much, but I think that it, the, the SuperNote would definitely benefit from a hyperlink function that connects between a notebook and a notebook, specific page of a notebook to a specific page of another notebook or notebook to document, document to notebook and document to another document. Because that way you can actually build this kind of uh, dependency hierarchy tree which would really, really enhance the overall functionality and usability of this already super powerful device, but it would, you know, push it even further forward. In the notebooks, um, something that I'm missing from the books platform and something that I've actually been using quite a bit when forming a design document or something like that is the ability to insert images. Right now, we don't have the ability to add an image and kind of scale it and make it a part of a notebook. Then it also would be nice to have shapes tool like for lines, quads, ellipses, circles, um, arrows, etc, etc. So just some kind of basic functionality would be quite nice. In an ideal world, uh, we would also have like somewhere along the line to see the functionality that we have on the uh, Kobo Ellipsa of the advanced notebook, which is basically the functionality of the my script, because that is still one of the most functional and usable kind of a, a, a working environment for a notebook and something that I think mm, Supernote would definitely benefit from. Now that's a huge task to implement and kind of design around, but still worth uh, mentioning at least. And another thing that I think um, is probably on their radar, but it's one of the most requested things for the Supernote, and that's the ability to do uh, handwriting recognition on a document level. So not just a selection and then convert that, but actually the entire thing to actually have an option to handwrite, convert the whole document and then have uh, or whole notebook and have some options to uh, perform operations with that conversion. Ideally, it would be a persistent conversion, which means once it's uh, converted, it is actually persistent with the document itself or the notebook itself. So yeah, that's something that most definitely a lot of users are requesting and I hope that we see soon on the Supernote platform. And finally, I think that in the reader side of things, uh, dictionary is a functionality that's still missing. So uh, we do kind of need that, uh, the, the functionality of at least adding uh, custom dictionaries or something like that, but it is something that is most definitely needed, especially now with the updated functionality of landscape versus portrait and how well it actually reformats documents. It, it, it really expands the usability of the Supernote A5 and A6X as uh, 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 readers, but because of that, it does kind of raise the question that it does now need a dictionary or maybe a translation functionality, etc, etc. So it's more standardized and in line with the competition and what the other devices offer in that field. 
Let me know what you guys think and if you have Supernote or you don't have Supernote, what you think should, could, must be improved and things like that. I also just want to mention one thing that uh, Rata has again surprised and impressed with the dedication and how they are handling the crisis that is actually happening in uh, China right now with the lockdown and everything that's happening. I mean, they have went like way above and beyond of what was what can be expected from a company to actually meet the needs of their customers. So if you don't know what's actually going on, uh, you can just go to the Supernote uh, Facebook page and then just kind of start reading up there and quickly I think you'll you'll be able to catch up and see what the progress was but basically yeah there has been delays on shipping out of new orders because of the lockdown situation that has been going on uh, in China for a while and they've done some extraordinary measures and actually made decisions to um, yeah kind of solve the issue and not wait for it to be solved but they to actually solve the issue any way they could to actually start shipping the devices to their customers and that just again shows tremendous amount of dedication i hope you liked the video if you did please like and subscribe and ding the notification bell in the description down below to get notified when new videos come out on my deep guide also in the description down below you'll find the link for discord's my deep guide server which is a place where we come out and hang out and you know for like-minded people to talk about uh, yeah e-ink devices e-note devices technologies and all that kind of sort of stuff and also in the description down below you'll find a link to the my daily organizer which is an organizer pdf file that i made a completely hyperlinked pdf file it helps you organize your year quarter month week day and lots of other things so if that sounds like something that might be of interest to you check out the playlist and a couple of videos so that you get a better idea of what my daily organizer is so that you can reach a decision if the product is right for you or not thank you so much for watching stay safe stay healthy and see you in the next video Bye.